bare necessities. Simple bare necessities. <laughs> Sorry I haven't made any videos for a few days. I've actually been in incredibly busy. A couple of days ago I nearly collapsed. Not literally collapsed, I was just so exhausted from burning the candle at both ends that it was pretty bad. True exhaustion. I guess this is what happens when you go up to stay up to six o'clock in the morning every night working on stuff. I like to call this video Message to America. I don't know if you know this or not, but uh, I used to live in uh, East Bay, which is no different than San Francisco, with my wife um, for a couple of years. She had been working out there. She was a, a, um, a nurse at St. Mary's Hospital, which is located in San Francisco. And of course, you know, the whole plan was to get out of there. It's just so radically expensive, and since she collapsed due to um, cancer and, you know, just bills. She was literally working herself to death before she met me. She was working three jobs and she'd tell me about how she'd drive around the block when she'd do home visits as a nurse to find a place to park. And it's just, I, 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 it's hard to imagine many things more miserable than that. You just drive around the block endlessly, maybe for half an hour to find a place to park just so you can go in and help a patient. And I'd like this to be an, an inspirational video titled Message to America, but also too to other people, because my buddy, uh, he used to be a philosopher and a weightlifter, I don't know whatever happened to him, he called this the idiot box, talking about uh, television, and there's even a song that goes, I think it was written by Jewel, said, uh, people on the TV tell you that they're better than you and you agree. I think that's the lyrics, and uh, you see uh, people that pretend to be intelligent and uh, you know many times of course uh, superficially beautiful, which of course you know uh, may or not be due to cosmetic surgery, but that's not really important, but these same people that think they're so much, and they really are smug, because I have lived amongst them, and if you think I'm you know, making a generalization, you would be correct, yet that generalization is extremely accurate. Um, I absolutely 100% do not care about politics, but something that I predicted would happen with 100% certainty, of course, has happened. There's another guy located in Los Angeles that has made the people there incredibly miserable, but the people put him in the office. But the one that was just voted out, I'm not even going to mention his name, you know, a, a totally horrible person that has just made life and crime insanely miserable for the San Francisco Bay Area. You know, he, he got recalled. I, I saw this coming, and I remember the, the day that the guy got elected. These people really do, and I'm not really, you know, impugning them, but I want to give a, a word of support to everybody else that lives. They call that the flyover states. Yeah. I guess Kentucky, of course, is a flyover state. So is Indiana. You know, Montana, Arkansas, basically every state other than, uh, you know, the west coast of California and the northeast. And this is where, of course, all media is controlled from. Basically, all TV shows are controlled from, all movies. And all these people, they just keep brainwashing your children, which is bad enough. I mean, it's the worst, of course. But trying to brainwash you that they're intellectually superior to you and they're better to you and they know better they know better than you. And that these people are really the least intelligent. They have absolutely no wisdom at all. And intelligence is not wisdom. They say, well, you know, it's just a bunch of Kentucky people, you know, a bunch of uh, illiterate uh, inbreds that uh, don't have um, college degrees. I spent many years in college. Let me tell you something before I actually finish out this video. And a few points. I'm smarter than these people. Most importantly, I'm wiser than these people. These people are not only not better than... And I'm not trying to pit them against us. I'm, that's not the point of this video. It's that these hubristic egomaniacs are not intelligent and they are not wise. They commit sins of intellectual heresy that you know I could see from a thousand miles off. And even somebody that never went to uh, junior high school that can barely read, this is a, you know, 
they, they see the, the stilly things that these people believe and do. It's like, well, that's never going to work. <laughs> you know, living in maybe a double wide trailer, eating a mayonnaise sandwich, and, you know, they got a, you know, a, a six pack of dirty tank tops. There's, those are the people that these people look on. They're sort of class warfare sort of stuff that actually goes on East Coast, West Coast. Well, we make movies, we have money out here. And, they, they keep making the worst decisions. They, they make life not only miser for, miserable for themselves, but their desire for power and greed and control over other people outside the sphere of their, their own existence is, of course, definitionally and denotatively evil. Any desire by anybody for power is the definition of evil. You know, the greatest gain to have in this life is control over yourself. And I don't mean existential self-control. I mean, true metaphysical self-control. And anybody that truly has that would never want control over other people. Um, these are the people with the astronomically highest, worst misery and crime rate, you know, lecturing you about crime and uh, safety. These are the people that get rich off of making movies glorifying, you know, crime and, uh, and uh, horrific violence. And they're lecturing you, you know, 95% of Americans or even Europeans or other people. It's just this, this intellectual, uh, pseudo-intellectual is what it is, excuse me. Superiority, it, it's not real. It doesn't exist in any place outside of uh, their own minds. You have these emotional Hollywood people. By the way, you should never listen to somebody that's emotional. It doesn't matter what topic it is. The only place where emotions are good and wholesome up to a point is with your family, your loved ones, if you're making music, if you're painting, some form of art expression. Everywhere else emotions should be cut off. They serve no good purpose. They never have and they never will. But there are places for emotions, but people, a lot of people lead their whole lives emotionally. They can't think intelligently. They can't think logically. Anyway, these emotional Hollywood people, they get rich off of glamorizing crime and violence, you know, crying about uh, uh, middle Americans uh, leading peaceful, normal, wholesome lives. Um, anyway, this guy that they recalled a couple days ago, um, he basically refused to jail criminals and all these horrific uh, criminals, like, hey, we got a free ticket here. You know, th it, th it shocked these people. They think they're intellectually superior to you, but just the opposite is the case. Like you're the you're the people that were you know cheering for defunding the cops and cheering for uh, actually they said reimagining the cops, which is just another euphemism for saying defunding the police. You know they elected somebody, and there's another person in Los Angeles. I'm not going to mention either one of these people's names. This one guy has been recalled, however. You know they just let the the criminals off scot free. And people are shocked. The crime skyrocketed. And uh, I heard from a couple of people I know in San Francisco that a lot of people there are so pissed that people breaking into their cars looking for something to steal or whatever that they just leave their cars and trunks unlocked and say, leaving signs in the windows saying, there's nothing here to steal. The doors are open. Check it out. You know, they're stealing everything not glued down. I mean, what's the worry? Why not do that, right? You're not going to get prosecuted. And these people are shocked that crime and violent crime and every man, you know, Walgreens basically is what pulled out of San Francisco. Like we can't take it anymore. People just come in and just uh, steal everything not glued down. And this, this shocks people. It's like, did you elect this guy? I'm not going to mention his name. That uh, is against criminalizing people. What do you mean? Making people accountable for their crimes? You know, you're you're now all of a sudden worried about San Francisco Bay Area descending into the ninth level of uh, Satan's armpit hell? I mean, these people really do live inside of a nutshell sniffing their own farts. They're completely disconnected from reality. Don't listen to these people. You know, if you're entertained by their movies or TV shows, I don't really watch many movies and the only TV shows that I'll watch, not that I ever get a chance to, barely, it's stuff like when you, someone builds something or fixes something, um, you know, renovating a house or building a log cabin, you know, educational, illuminating stuff that, uh, you know, expands your mind. Um, 
really the world is doomed, especially America, and the republic is collapsing because these people literally live in a nutshell, once again, sniffing their own farts. There was a, a representative, her name is Debbie Stabenow, and she was uh, saying just this whole, you know, let them eat cake mentality. Saying that she drives past gas, gas stations and she doesn't care what the price costs because she got an electric vehicle. <laughs> This type of, you know, that type of hubristic pseudo-intellectualism is just insane and pathetic. It just is. I mean, some of the most disgusting places on earth are dirty lithium mines that employ labor that is extremely egregious and totally immoral. It wrecks the land. Um, the energy density of lithium batteries is not that great. I don't know if they know where the power is coming from that charges those electric cars, but here in America, it's uh, nuclear and coal. They're useless for planting, for uh, fertilizing, for harvesting, for food processing. The whole world runs on diesel for all the important stuff that gets delivered, you know? If everybody right now, actually it wouldn't even take that much. It's something like, even if 40% uh, of Americans, all of a sudden, poof, your car turned into an electric car overnight, the electric grids would be destroyed. Not permanently destroyed, but they would collapse. The electric grids would collapse, even if only 40% of Americans had their cars instantaneously converted um, to an electric from diesel or you know gasoline. These personal isolationists is the reason why, one of the main reasons why the world is uh, collapsing. Um, these are the same people, you know, praising electric cars. You know, you're some sort of troglodytic fool because you live out in, according to them, you know, you live out in the sticks and you got a gasoline car or truck. These people drive long distances. Tell that to somebody who lives in South Dakota where, like, from distance from one city to the next is far beyond uh, the distance of a charge cycle on an electric vehicle. These same cars are too expensive, they suck, they're horrific in winter, their energy density is bad. Electric cars are double dirty at both ends, from the lithium mines to the charging source where the actual power comes to charge these vehicles. but. These people also, too, don't realize that the rest of America has got extremely sick of their hubris and their anti-intellectualism. And they are pseudo-intellectuals rather than genuine intellectuals. I have a college degree. You know, you're some sort of goober living in Kentucky or Arkansas or something like that. And, you know, I'm important. You know. <laughs> in their own mind, they are. But these people don't know the way the world works. They have no common sense. The things that I could see from a million miles off. I remember when they elected that guy. Hey, we're going to have a reform. We're going to stop criminalizing criminals. It's like, oh, I wonder what will come of that. Exactly what I predict. I think he got elected in, uh, and the other guy in Los Angeles. I'm not going to mention their names. These are the same people that think they're so much smarter than you. And they are 100% certain of that in their own minds. They are exactly the opposite of more intelligent than you. Exactly the opposite. They're going to elect this guy who's going to reform the, the justice system. You're not going to start just jailing everybody that commits crimes and start stealing everything not glued down. Oh, gee, I wonder what will happen with that. Well, the whole San Francisco Bay Area has descended into Satan's Speedo. You know, somewhere right between the front and the back, you know, the danger zone of Satan's Speedo. <laughs> These people were not smart enough, even though they think they're smarter than you because you're just like a peon living in Arkansas or Idaho or Montana. Or, you know, some other goober place where they drive pickup trucks and their vehicles run on gasoline. That old dinosaur fuel sludge. My car is a Tesla. Mm, yeah, I'm smart. I'm an intellectual. <laughs> These people are not intellectual at all. I'm smarter than them. I'm wiser than them. I saw this from a million miles off, and yet you have all these... And trust me, as someone that lived in San Francisco, these people really, 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 really do. 99% of them, anyway. They really do think they're smarter than better than you. They really do think that. Some of them come out and say it. 
<laughs> they couldn't see what was blatantly obvious to me. I knew this would happen. I knew it. Exactly what I predicted happened. Yep, these people are so smart. Oh, I didn't see that happening. We elected this guy that, you know, didn't want to prosecute criminals. <laughs> you're so smart. <laughs> but you're not. It's a fake bite, by the way. Message to America is, don't listen to these people. You know, if you get entertained by their stuff, fine. These people make emotional pleas, kind of like uh, some actor. He's like really handsome and suave, according to the chicks. And he, he got up in Washington and he started waving his hands and being all emotional and uh, holding up pictures and, you know, <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> um, sensationalizing tragedy. <clears throat> What's his last name again? First name is Matthew. He's just some irrelevant Hollywood uh, goober. No, listen to people on emotions. Emotions are good for artwork. Emotions for your family and your kids, your loved ones. It's good for music. It's good for making films, which is what these people do. Nothing else they say has any value. They have nothing intelligent to say. They get shocked when they elect people that decriminalize criminals. Oh my God, it's so shocking. Well, I wonder why this city descended into hell. <laughs> well, why couldn't you have seen that? You're, you keep telling everybody in the whole world you're smarter than everybody else. <laughs> I just hit myself in the head with my pipe. I'm going to edit that out of this video. Doesn't anybody else see this fact? Stop. Stop watching and listening to these people. I know they're entertaining. It's like, you know, sh watch their TV show, whatever. But don't listen to these people. <clears throat> I'm not on Twitter and I never have been. But I tell people, let's take the top five, your, your top five favorite actors or actresses, go to their uh, Twitter account and get shocked at how unintelligent these people are. You just, literally, I'm not a fan of any of them. Some are better than others. You know, some are entertaining. You just go to their Twitter account. And twi by the way, Twitter is literally the invention of Satan. Almost literally. I'm not on there, never have been. It's just pure evil website. You just, you just go there. It's like, just take your top five actors and just read like the past five days of their Twitter feed. You're like, oh my God, this person is so evil and stupid. I can't believe that. <laughs> uh, kind of tells you who they are. Everything they think they understand is fake. They're living in a nutshell, sniffing their own farts. They have no grip on reality. They don't know the way the world works. And yet they think they're so much smarter than you, and they're exactly the opposite. I rest my case. I rest it. Mic drop. Hey.